Okay, it cut me off. Oh well. I tried changing the resolution hoping it wouldn't. So I still cannot find any way to make my videos longer. If you know how, please let me know because I've done all kinds of searches and it, it does not help me. So I'm looking to make videos longer on my Samsung Galaxy Lite and because it annoys me. <sighs> anyway, I was saying when it cut me off that my love whip for Monday the 15th after I met with the Stitchers of the Whipocalypse was my Mirabilia. She's all kinds of jangled here. Well, let me get the picture for you. She's called Le Nouveau. I probably butchered that, you know. Three years of French lessons and I still can't speak it. Um, so, there she is. She's gorgeous. I call her Elizabeth. I'm not sure why, but I do. And she is just gorgeous. She's my first Mirabilia. So, of course, she scares me half to death. But this is 14 count. No, 14 count. 28 count, kind of the same thing, uh, pink even weave. So I just started filling in, I got all the dark hair done, so I started filling in this lighter section of her hair. And I think I did a little bit more on the border. So just a little bit on her. I just wasn't feeling her that night. I really wasn't. I don't know why. I was tired. But I have my purple uh, wooden Eiffel Tower. There it is. Purple Wooden Eiffel Tower Needle Minder from Minding My Minders. So, excited. Alright. Tuesday, the 16th. I worked on Just Jack, which is this cute little design from Glory B that was in the October 2013 Just Cross Stitch issue so cute. One of the reasons I actually started buying the Just Cross Stitch was some of the back issues you get. You get a really good deal. So I'm stitching this on 14 count white Ada in Moe's Sale Autumn Leaves. And I just filled in, I filled in this whole side here. So it's a really fun, fun stitch. I'm really enjoying it. And I have my Jack Skellington Needle Minder from Minding My Minders. So, fun, fun. Love this one. All right. Wednesday, the 17th, I worked on my Doctor Who Christmas pattern from Capes and Crafts on Etsy. I can put a picture, I can link, it, link a picture if you want, but I've gotten a lot done, so you kind of have the general idea of what it's going to look like. But, uh, you know, forget Santa, I'm waiting for the doctor. So I am pretty far along on this. So I just have the TARDIS to finish and the border. So I added some more leaves in the bottom, and I started filling in the TARDIS. I have my TARDIS needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. I want to finish that this year. That one's fun. All right. And next, I worked on Q is for Quilting from Prairie Schooler. One of their alphabet, alphabet series. See, these little books have three in them. And I'm going to start the P and the R this year. But I worked on the Q. And it's on 16 count white Ada. And this is the other needle minder I was... I got from uh, Nifty Needle Nannies in the last two weeks. A little pair of scissors! Isn't it awesome? Everybody should have scissors needle minder. It's just cute. So, anyway, um, I had the blue done when I picked this up, so I just started filling in some of the brown blocks. And there's another needle. Yoda's getting a handful. Okay. Next was, on the 19th, I worked on the Hootie's 12 Days of Christmas from Pinoy Stitch uh, on Etsy. And this is on 18 count Ada in oatmeal. So this is day one, and I filled in the top of his head and started working around the eyes. And I have my 
Golden Owl Needle Minder from Cassie's Needle Minders. Okay. Saturday the 20th, I worked on Cat Lessons from Lizzie Kate. I hear the toddler running through the house. So there's Cat Lessons, and I'm changing up the colors. I'm kind of stitching each set of words and whatever color I want. So I started working on play with your food, which I'm using DMC 307 for. So that's where I am with that. And that's the whole thing so far. And I have my, this is a Jack and the Beanstalk little book needle minder that I made myself. So, needle. Thought my needle case got awfully light all of a sudden. Started leaving the needles in my projects again. I take them out because I don't want to. I don't want to own five hundred needles. I really don't. So I keep the needle minder on the project, but I take the needles off. Unless it's something I work on frequently, like my stitch along pieces, the needles don't stay. So, next day, Sunday the 21st, Grace Day, I worked on the first Satsuma Street I ever started. Still working on it. Pretty Little New York. And this is on 14 Count Oatmeal Ada. So, I started filling in this building. So I got all of this blue done and I'm starting to fill this in. So fill it in that half of the building. So there I am there. And I have my zebra button needle minder, the first one I ever made. Second, something like that. All right. That was Sunday. Monday the 22nd. I worked on... Turn the page. Monday the 22nd, I worked on Fall Foods from Play-Doh Squirrel on Etsy. I love these charts. There's just something about kawaii food. I don't know. I love it. So I think it should be called Sweet Fall, but that's not what it's called. So I'm doing this on 14 count uh, Delft Blue Ada. I got that from an eBay seller. She's not. In, she hasn't been se selling fabric in a long time, so I hope she's all right. But I haven't seen her selling fabric for a long time. So isn't that so cute? So I finished the caramel apple, and I started just the bottom of the cup of cocoa. So I just have the cocoa. I have the cinnamon roll over here, and the words at the bottom, and I'll be done. Too cute. And I have my green leaf needle minder that I made myself. So fun, fun stitch. I have the rest of the series. Um, there's one for each season. So I have the rest of the series to start this year. All right. The 23rd, Tuesday, I worked on Box of Delights from Black Work Journey. This is by Elizabeth Almond. Free design. And... I am just, I am really enjoying this. I, I picked this up and I remembered why I just love black work. Never done it before. I started this project, but I truly, truly enjoy it. So this is also on 14 count Delft Blue. So I finished. I did, um, I had half of the outside done here. So I finished that, did the inside, and then did this outside here. So... Quite a bit. So this is actually block one, almost completed. And then I have the other blocks to do. So lots of fun. And I have my blingy domed TARDIS needle minder from Minding My Minders. I have lots of loose black floss in there. So love that. So truly enjoying that along with Save the Stitches. And I'm going to be starting Pandora's box at some point. That one's fun. That looks like so much fun. That has um, 
a CZ in it. It has the black, uh, the black work. It has regular cross stitch. It has some specialty stitches. Fun, fun. All right. And then for the rest of the month, um, the last six Love Whips are all on one piece of fabric. And the reason is they're the six snow bells from Lizzie Kate. And I'm stitching them on 14 count Ada in smoke tone. So first on the list was All Dressed Up. And she got um, a lot of extra love this week too. But there's the chart. And she's the one I have the most done on. So here's the whole thing. I have all the borders done on all the boxes, on all the different charts. And there's all dressed up. So this past week, I did her scarf, her mitten, and her hat. So, and then yesterday, I worked on Ready for Snow. There's that one. And I did her, I did the word for, I did the little bird, and I did most of her hat. So tonight, I'm either, or today, I've been working on them in the evening lately, but today, I'm either going to work on Ice Queen or Baby It's Cold Outside. I haven't decided, but those are the next two um, on the fabric. Ice Queen goes here, Baby It's Cold Outside goes here. So, haven't decided which one. When I go to pick it up, I'll decide. So that's, um, and then the other two, the last two I'll work on this month, um, Sunday and Monday, are Blizzard Babes and Frosty Friends. I need to get six, the Six Fat Men series, too. So the, I have the Six Snow Bells, so I need the others. I do. I need them. Okay, so that's all my love whips. I have worked on my stitch along whips a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, I cannot sit in one location very long. Excuse me, try not to show you my butt. Nobody wants to see that. Oh. Oh, ow, crack. Snap. Got my own personal Rice Krispies. Carry them with me wherever I go. Anyway, the Santa's Village Stitch Along, which is a group on Facebook. I am working on Santa's house. Um, I will be stitching these twice, actually. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Lovely idea. I love it. But no, I'm going to stitch them as no-sew cubes with the buttons, and then I'm going to stitch them all as one without the buttons. So I'll be doing that with Santa's Village, the Gingerbread Village, and Frosty Friends. So this is Santa's house, the first one I've started. And this is on 14 count Ada in smoke tone. So I guess I did get quite a bit done on this. I finished the roof on Santa's house, got all the shingles done, the rest of the snow, the, uh, whatever those things are called, <laughs> the chimneys, the chimneys, the smokestacks? No, I guess it's chimneys. Anyway, and then I started working on the, one of the windows. So, and I have my Merry Christmas needle minder from Minding My Minders, and I do keep the needle in this one, because this is one that gets pulled out, not every day, but frequently, a couple times a week, so it gets pulled out. So I keep the needle with it. And the floss. All right. My next stitch along piece I've worked on the last couple weeks is the pumpkin passport. Um, yeah, the pumpkin passport from Frosted Pumpkin. I get this confused with the postcards from Clouds Factory. They need to have different names. So, I'm still nowhere caught up, and here it is almost March. But that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I guess I keep telling myself that. 
All right, so this is on 28 count uh, tea dyed. So I think it's Monaco from Hobby Lobby. And here's where I am. Made a fair amount of uh, progress. I finished all the yellow in Big Ben, the two colors. I finished the gray. This big space here is the bus. And then I did the bridge. And I've started the water. So, and that is all Mo's, yeah, that's all Mo's floss with the exception of, I think there's a little bit of DMC in there. And then I have my Egypt Pyramid Needle Minder from Minding My Minders. So, and that brings us to Clouds Factory postcards, which got less love. It really hasn't hardly been worked on at all. I love it. I just haven't had a lot of stitchy time lately. And that's okay. I've still got, I got the rest of the year to get these done. <laughs> it may take me that long and half the next year and that's okay. So the Clouds Factory postcards is on 22 count hand dyed Ada from Fabrics by LJ. It's called Ectoplasm. So I do have the two frames done, January, February, and I finished all the blue water in Venice. So, and I have my world map needle minder from Minding My Minders. This one I have not picked out the colors for completely like I have Passport, but I'm still playing with it. Having fun. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Next up is the Magical Creatures Calendar from Clouds Factory. There is a Stitch Along group on Facebook for that. This one got a little bit extra, although I realized, you know, February's just about over and I haven't started the February block, which kind of depressed me, but that's okay. It'll be all right. So this is 14 count hand-dyed Ada from Moe's Sale. Most of my fabrics from Moe, um, this one wasn't, but I don't think it's available anymore. Um, most of my fabrics, uh, since they're the fabric of the month, they're um, not available to order. But some of them, some of the orange that I use is. You can buy the orange. Anyway, so I have gotten quite a lot done on the Centaur. I got the whole body done, and now I'm working up the torso here. And I finished the snow here at the bottom. So very happy with my color choice on that. That's Pugsley from Moe's Sale. And that's this is all Moe's Sale and Artiste. There's my February block. It's empty. Toothless is still holding court there. I have my colors picked out for the cauldron and the frog and just haven't stitched them. Let's see what I can do this weekend. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I'm just having fun. It'll be done eventually. I don't worry about that. I really don't. I'm a, what, what's it called? A process stitcher, not a product stitcher. I'm not worried about the end result. I'm more worried about the process. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I just enjoy it. I love the stitching. I do. So. Sometimes I feel bad because I'm a slow stitcher and I see everybody done and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so slow. But that's okay. That's okay. Some days, like I said, I just don't get a lot of stitchy time, and that's all right. So, I'm also working. Um, this is the only haid that I've touched this month out of all of them, is my Quick Stitch Autumn Owl. But that's okay. I do need to finish working on uh, my um, thousand stitches for the haid challenge on Mini Owl Family. still have another couple hundred due to, to do there. But this is for the Hade full coverage stitch along, not specifically Hade, but full coverage stitch along on cross stitch finish line, which is another group. And so I have filled in quite a bit of orange on this. And there's my owl needle minder from Minding My Minders. So, uh, need to move on to another Hade. Because I've worked on the two owls so far this year. So I want to work on some others. And then for my Brooks Books Stitch Along, which is a part of Stitch Mania, I haven't gotten any farther. 
than I think the last time I showed you. I started off with this and I got all this cross stitching done in like a day, two days. The first week I did most of this and then I'm not stalled out on it. I really enjoy it. I just haven't been in a beading mode. Maybe I should do it today because I was in a serious beading mood this morning. But I have a lot of, I have all the cross stitches done except for like a couple little spots up here. Um, so all I have to do is fill, finish filling in the beads. I have half the beads done. And there's a little back stitching here still to do. But uh, I just have to finish filling in the beads. So I'm not sure why I haven't done that yet. So that I do want to get done be by Monday. So my goal is to get one of those finished every month this year. So it'll give me 12 finishes at the very least. And hey, I had August. There was one. And I had two more last month, so I think I'm doing all right. Okay, I think that's all those. Now, I have more progress to show you because um, I spent a couple days uh, going through all my whips. I pulled them from every corner of the house because they were kind of everywhere. They were in different boxes and different bins and different drawers and different, just for space reasons. Well, I, um, I don't have the uh, storage system that I want yet, but I'm using right now two very large, I think they're 66 quart containers. They're big plastic containers from Sterilite. And I need two of them to hold all of my whips. But I pulled them, cataloged them in my X-Stitch app. Alphabet well, the X-Stitch app al alphabetizes them. But I alphabetized them in the bins. So it's very easy to just pull them out now. And I'm very happy with that. So I started what I wanted to start. Again, I'm borrowing Katie the Stash Queen's idea. And I love it. I truly do. Of uh, my daily rotation piece, which doesn't get any time limit. Um, and if I don't have time to work on it, that's okay. I just roll it over to the next day. So I have been working on my whips alphabetically. A lot of them were starts from this year, which is exciting that starts this year have gotten progress on them. Um, sorry, my hand's hurting. I've been hurting right down here. I think it's from stitching. But, um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm truly enjoying it. And I've made a lot of progress on a lot of my starts. So let me show you what I've worked on in the last two weeks. This was a start this year. Zero days without sarcasm. This isn't the chart. It looks like it, but it's not. It's the picture. So, because it's actually charted for black thread, which I'm not stitching it in black. It would be fine in black. I just don't want to stitch it in black. So, and I, I catalog them by the title that is given to them. If it doesn't have a title, I give it one. But uh, most of the time they have titles, and that one, uh, it since it's the number zero, zero days without sarcasm, it doesn't go at the end. It actually plunked it at the beginning. So this is on 14 count, light blue Ada. And I had, I had the word without stitched. So I got the word days stitched. So, and that completed all the purple. I used um, Gentle Arts Purple Iris for those. I'm going to do the zero and the sarcasm in red and the border. I think I'm going to do it in green. So, and there's my blingy domed needle minder from Minding My Minders. Minion. Gotta have minions. So, this is one that I think I will definitely finish this year. Because there's not a lot left. Even though, even though, um, you know, it's the front of the alphabet and I won't get back to the end of the alphabet until the end of the year. That one I think will come up in different stitch alongs. So, that one will be done this year. Next up, all right, now these I'm actually going to try and keep in alphabetical order so it'll be easier to put them away. I don't know why it matters. All these other piles aren't in alphabetical order, and I have to alphabetize them when I'm done. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. Anyway, next up is another needle. All right, next up was the 12 Days of Christmas from Satsuma Street. Again, numbers. So, got at the front. I worked on day one. That's day two. I worked on day one. <laughs> and I have another needle. This is where all my needles are going. Let go. 
Uh, Yoda has like five needles. Okay, I worked on day one. So when I started, all I had was the bright blue. I filled in all of the light blue and the red. So I got a lot done. And there's my uh, Fragili needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Yeah, with this exception of this next one, day two, I have all Christmas story needle minders so far on those, but I only have one more, so. So this is day two. So again, um, I had just the yellow, so I filled in all the cream on this one. And I have a Nutcracker needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. All right, next up in the rotation was another new start this year. This one I'm stitching for my hubby. He picked the chart. I was very excited. He he actually, when I got the book, he sat down and, and actually went through it for quite a while. And um, I said, if there was anything I wanted, you wanted me to stitch for you out of this book, what would you pick? And he picked the 1964 and a half Mustang. Apparently the half is significant. I don't know why, but it is. So this is on 14 count, white Ada. And I finished the windshield. So I had the dark gray done. So I finished the light gray. I did all the light gray. So that's the windshield. And I have my blingy Minion Buddies needle minder from True North Needle Minders. Next up was one of my older whips. I started this last year. And it's Garfield from Garfield at his best and it's a day without cats. Needle minders like my necklace. All right and this is on 14 count white Ada and there's a needle. So I went ahead, I had two stripes of the blanket done, so I added the orange, which is part of his tail and part of his foot. So, and I have my Cheshire Cat Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies on that one. My next rotation piece was a Stitch in Time, which I started this year. And this one I was having, I was having trouble with this because I could not figure out a way to stitch this. The um, I love the I love it. The second it came out, I bought it, um, and I uh, bought the fabric, got the floss, and I I started it as soon as I could. But what really just threw me was it it has the most confetti of any haid that I've stitched so far, and I was just having a hard time figuring out how to stitch it. What would work with me? I tried different techniques. I tried what I do with my other haids, the parking and the gridding, and I tried um, going down in columns, and it just wasn't working for me. And I don't, I don't know why, but I was just having a problem with it. But I did finally find a way that works for me. So I'm stitching this on 28 count Dove Gray Monaco. Two over one, half stitch. So what I'm doing is um, actually doing a little bit of cross country. So ignore the threads. That's just from when I was parking. I'm not doing that much anymore. So what I'm doing is I'll pick the color and just work that color all the way across in the first row of blocks. So this is 800 stitches across. Um, 10 blocks of, or 8 blocks of 10, and I work all the way across those 800 stitches. This one is, I think, the first thread that carried down, because a lot of the colors didn't carry down, or I didn't have enough thread to carry it down, so that one's properly parked. These are just left over from when I was parking last time. But doing that, I was able to put in about 300 stitches last week when I worked on this. So this is part of a stitch along piece, that's why it keeps the needle um, it's a separate Facebook group, but I'm happy with this. I really am. So right now I'm using my orange and brown 
M&M's from Gina's Unique Boutique, and my TARDIS needle minder from Kimmy Hillcrafts. This is a big piece of fabric. Yeah, explain to me why I'm not freaked out by this, but I'm freaked out by the fact that I'm not caught up on postcards and passport. No sense. It makes no sense. Um, let's see. What I work on next? I worked on a whip that I don't know what I did with it. Well, I don't have it. I don't know what I did with it. I worked on ABCs of Faith by Lizzie Kate. Um, I don't remember what I did. I'm working on the letters right now. Um, all of the letters charted in Weeks Grapevine. It's a kit that I bought, so I have all the floss. So I've been working on that. I have no clue what I did with it. <laughs> it's around here somewhere. Apparently it wasn't with the rest of them. It got moved. So, anybody else randomly lose a whip? I do it all the time. Anyway, next up was Afternoon in Paris that you saw earlier, um, or on the last video, whichever. I think it was on the last video. Because it was one of my starts uh, in the last two weeks that actually came up in the rotation. So, that's why I had so much done on Afternoon in Paris versus my other starts is I worked on it one evening and did a whole lot on the Eiffel Tower. So there it is again. All right. And then my next rotation piece was All Dressed Up from Lizzie Kate, the uh, Six Snowbells piece that I'm, I'm working on this week as uh, my love whips. But it came up in my daily rotation because I don't have it, even though it's all on one piece of fabric, I don't have it listed as six snowbells. I have it listed as the individual chart names. So, all dressed up came in, and that's why I was able to get all of the scarf done and her mitten and her hat. So. So, baby, it's cold outside. We'll get work this week on it for... My love whip, but when I get to the bees, it'll get worked on again. The others have ways to go. All right. Now, I missed several days. There were several days I just didn't. I got my starts done and my love whip, and that was all the stitching I got done. So afternoon in Paris, I think it got held over by like four days um, before I got to it. And then uh, the one I'm on now has been held over for a couple of days. I'm hoping to be able to get to it tonight. But for the next week, this goes through Wednesday, so theoretically I can get my next video done on Thursday. Um, but my piece that I'm working on tonight is Alphabet Carols. Alphabet of Carols? Yes. An Alphabet of Carols by Fangirl Stitches. And I started this last year, um, and I've gotten up to the K. Oh, that's an L. L, right, little drummer boy. So I love this. I really do. I just, I think it's the fabric. The 16 count Ada is kind of stiff, and I, I, I don't know why, but I'm having trouble with it. And I think the chart is very small. If I enlarged it, maybe I'd... There's, I don't know why. I love the finished product, but I've been struggling with this. So this will definitely come up with, in um, Wine and Whips in June. But I am going to work on this, hopefully tonight, and get a little more progress done. At least, hopefully, I can finish the L. So, and that's 16 count white Ada, and that doesn't even have a needle minder on it. How shameful is that? All right, my next piece to work on after that is a start from this year and it is always from happy stitch it's a free design and it's the severus St severus snape piece so it has his silhouette it has the dough and it has the word always on it and this is on 18 count white ada it's just a little piece because it's a full coverage and i have the top of his hair so 
work on that some more. And I have my Harry Potter needle minder from Minding My Minders on that. Next piece I'll work on this week is the April Calendar Girl, which you just saw because uh, it was in my starts this last two weeks, but it shows up in the rotation. I borrow a lot from Katie the Stash Queen. Can you tell? I, we just think alike when it comes to a lot of our stitching. So, there she is again. So, and that's where I am. But yeah, anyway, no, Katie and I just think a lot, a lot alike. We like to say we're each other's uh, stitchy sister. We're our stitchy twin sisters because we think a lot alike when it comes to stitching. And what works for one of us generally works for the other. But not always. Not always. She did join me on the year of starts. I talked her into that. But she's not joining me on Monday. But she's got a lot of other stuff to take care of on Monday. So anyway, but no. Like I said, I like to follow the greats. The great floss tubers. And there are a lot of great floss tubers out there. Trisha, the left-handed stitcher. If you haven't watched hers, you should watch hers. Garrett, coffee stitcher. Um, Monique Hernandez, the button addict. You should watch her. Stephanie Watson, sweet girl. You should watch her. Um, gosh, who else? Joe and Molly. A lot of people know about them. Um, Michelle Gunn. Fabulous. T and Stitches. Amazing. Um, who else? Annie uh, from Stitchcraft and Scissordry. Brian C. Um, gosh, there are so many great floss tubers out there. Who was I watching this morning? Um, Amanda Brownie Stitch Love. Fabulous ladies and gentlemen and wonderful, wonderful stitchers. I don't hardly watch TV anymore. I just watch floss tube. Anyway, that, you know, I love all of y'all. And, you know, whatever works for you, I like to try it and see what works for me. Anyway, where was I? I showed you the April. After the April calendar girl comes one of my oldest whips. So this is going on two years old. And I love them. I love my cherished teddies, but when I started stitching, um, I, I was too chicken to try even weave or linen or anything like that. I still don't like linen. But um, I started these all on Ada, on white Ada, and I really hate quarter stitches on Ada. So I think that's why. So all of these will be making an appearance during Wine and Whips. But I'll be working on the April roly-poly. All my Aprils will come up in the next week. Um... So I have my April Calendar Girl, and I have my April Roly-Poly, and I'm working on the raincoat. Just one giant blob right now. And then, after I work on the Cherish Teddy's April Roly-Poly, I work on my Cherish Teddy's April Showers, which is a little mini chart. Still a pain. I love it, but it's still a pain because it's quarter stitches on Ada. But this is a calendar year in miniatures. So, they're little. The April showers, right, oops, sorry. It's right there, the little one with the umbrella. I might have to check the chart. I think it goes like that, but I'm not 100% sure. So, that's 14 count white Ada. You know, believe it or not, they again, these are small, but they take a while. They're pretty solid. Okay, after that is going to be another April. This is, I showed the November Harvest Pumpkin that I started. This is one of the other freebies by Erica Michaels that you can find on Rainbow Gallery. And this is the, um, again, you can see some of these are older because it's prior needle minders. They don't even have needle minders. This is the April Spring Hair. So it just, it's a little little square design. I'm working on the border. I have some green done there and it's got a bunny in the middle and the checkered background that all of them have. So another little solid piece. So that's all my pieces for this coming week and we'll see if I can get them all done. If not, no worries. So um, like I said, come Monday I'm going to try and uh, work extra on my uh, stitch along pieces this weekend. Because uh, Monday, I don't plan on stitching on anything except starts. All day long, I'm going to work on starts whenever I have time. 
Um, so generally we don't do school on Mondays. Um, we use it as a day to uh, get caught up from the weekend, get caught up on housework. So we do school Tuesday through Friday. So, okay, that's all I have. So technically I guess that my video is an hour and 40 minutes, but it's two videos. And I'm collecting all my needles from Yoda. All my random needles I left on my... Okay, get to see my behind again. <sighs> get to put them in my case. Oh, wait, I gotta show you this. This is my needle case. Isn't it awesome? I got it at Hobby Lobby. I gotta give my husband props. He's the one who notices it. Noticed it. So, lipstick comes out and my needles go inside. Isn't that cute? And since I use all 24s and 26s, and I can tell the difference between a 24 and a 26, I can keep them all in here. Now I need another one for beading needles, though. So, and check this out. It's magnetic. So I have actually put this on my whips. So here's my frog. I have put that on my whips before. Isn't that cute? I don't know, I love it. Anyway, so... Super long video. I'm sorry it wasn't all one video. I'll try again. See if I can fix it. So that's all I have. Thank you again for everyone. Thank you for subscribing, for commenting, for liking, for all of your lovely comments on Facebook and likes and the new reacts, which is just weird and all of that. I love you to pieces. Um, a lot of the floss tubers are doing questions, like Q&A sessions. If you ever have any questions, just ask. Um, I do read the comments. I've gotten, again, very bad about answering them and answering the questions. So um, I'll try to do better. And I will put all the links to all the charts in the descriptions, all the freebies anyway. And um, for the ones from Etsy, I'll put those there so you can see the completed picture. And that's all I got. So have a great stitchy weekend. Enjoy the weather. If you're under the feet of snow in the north, um, please stay safe and stay warm. If you're um, anywhere else, stay safe and stay warm or stay cool if it's summer where you are. So, anyway, happy stitching. Have fun. Bye. I can never get this turned off. Eventually. Ah, it's stuck. Just get to see extra of me. And a close-up, which is not good.